Hey guys, it's Fuck here, and welcome to another 18 player review. And today I am reviewing the 91 rated footies winner Bakayoko. I did complete his SBC. Uh, it did cost me 60,000 coins, which is a very reasonable price for a awesome looking 91 rated card. And in the four games that I played him with, he scored me zero goals and got me three assists. And he does have a three star weak foot and two star skill moves. Moving along into his in game stats, his main standout stats are his 99 shot power, his 95 stand tackling, his 91 long passing and his 96 aggression so yes awesome looking card also very nice uh, design once again that EA have done for the footies winner uh, I think this was probably the deserved winner. I think the other two candidates were Dembele and Matuidi. Bakayoko deserves a big special card. Do you remember this guy? Like at the start of FIFA 18, everyone had him in his team. I think he had like an 82 rated base card. I believe he got either a Path to Glory or a uh, Ones to Watch and he never got a, uh, a special card, which is a big shame. But still... We've had to wait quite a while, but now we've got a big rated 91 Bakayoko, and I loved him. I think he is fantastic. I'm not too sure what his current price is to overall complete his SBC from scratch. I already had some players in my club, but uh, I don't think it would be that far over 100k, and that's pretty good uh, for a card like this, and it did cost me 60,000 coins, which is a very reasonable price. Uh, anyway, moving along into his positives. Plenty of positives. His first one's going to be his strength. Six foot one. I actually thought he was taller than that. I thought he was like six foot four, but still six foot one's a decent height. And also he's got fantastic strength stats. Calling in at 92 strength. Also, his uh, aggression at 96 is fantastic. He's going to have no problem in using his strength to win back position of the ball. And that is crucial for a CDM, you know, a typical, strong, good CDM. I know there's been players in the past like uh, Gattuso, who's a really small player, but usually a typical good CDM or defensive midfielder is someone that's tall, got good strength, a big high presence about them, and also 88 jumping is going to be very good in aerial situations. We know how they are very important uh, during any outfield play in the middle of the park where Bakayoko will be. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic though with his strength. And just offers, as I said, before a great presence in that midfield which um you know you, you you can get a lack of that a lot of times in midfielders but that's certainly no problem for Bakayoko his second pro is going to be his passing of course brilliant passing stats once again coming in at 93 short passing and 91 long passing loved both of those very good and useful in game uh three assists in four games from a defensive center mid position uh is something that I didn't expect but I'm certainly not going to complain fantastic linked up very well actually with Okazaki who by the way I love his inform card Okazaki but anyway focusing on Bakayoko yes three assists in four games is very good indeed moving on to his final pro is going to be his tackling he's got some awesome tackling sets coming in at 95 stand tackle and 93 slide tackle also his interceptions were pretty good at 92 uh, 81 heading accuracy is pretty decent and also 90 marking his defensive stats are really good if you wanted to, you could blame him as a centre-back. Uh, he could certainly work there. Uh, and also, I think he can work as a more attackive midfielder. I don't think he would be best suited as a cam, but certainly as a more attackive centre-mid position, he can very much play uh, in a role like that. But I suit him... Well, I personally prefer him mostly in a more defensive midfield position. That's where you're going to get the best out of this card. And... Is he worth doing? Completely worth doing that. You can't get loan versions for these footy winner cards, but honestly, I loved him so much. I'm so glad they've done this SBC card. Uh, worth the coins and if you've been a fan of his base card you are certainly going to love this card and for potentially a hundred thousand coins maximum i know a lot of you guys can probably get him for even less than that a hundred percent worth doing go and do this card do it right now because um you know he's just an awesome player but anyway guys that's gonna finish up this player review thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later